Yes, God, honey, it's your girl, Miss Laganja Astranja, and I am about to get ranked. Lord knows, here we go. Let's toot, boot, yes or no God. Let's rank these dance movies. Now y'all know I love a good five, six, seven, and eight, so this one's gonna be a little difficult. My number one pick is going to be Center Stage. I just remember watching this movie as a child, and I mean, come on, that tutu reveal where she unwraps out, I actually recreated that for a third grade talent show. So this definitely has my number one rank. Now, number two is going to be Black Swan. <laughs> Natalie Portman giving us ballerina realness, such intricate and detailed choreography, so beautiful, so different from center stage, but still just as impressive. My number three rank is going to be Flash Dance. It's a classic when the water pours down on her, you know we all gag. So definitely number three is Flash Dance. Number four is going to be Step Up. I love this movie because it really shows the audition process, but when it comes to my ranking, it's not the most memorable movie to me. And last, but certainly not least, is Honey. Now, no shade to Honey, I love the movie, but let's be real, it's a little bit cheese ball change. So it's coming in at number five. Now it's time to rank these pop divas. On the list, we have Cher, Madonna, Beyonce, Lady Gaga, and of course, Miss Rihanna. Now this one's a little bit more difficult for me because I have such strong opinions about most of these individuals, but my number one spot has got to go to Madonna. I truly believe if it wasn't for her, we wouldn't have so many pop icons that I love to this day. So I really feel like Madonna deserves spot number one. Now, diva number two coming to the stage is Miss Beyonce. I'll admit, I haven't always been a part of the beehive, but as someone who just saw Renaissance, I was completely blown away by her vocal technique and her staging expertise. Truly a diva for the times. Number three is going to have to be Lady Gaga. She has inspired me so much in my career and even in this look today. I really love her because she is always able to meet somewhere in the middle between dance and music and really give you both. Coming in at number four is the one and only bad girl, Miss Riri herself. Now I hate putting her this low on the list because honestly, out of all of these divas, I probably listen to her music the most, but I think when it comes to this ranking, Miss Rihanna belongs on spot number four. And coming in at my fifth spot, please don't kill me. I know she's another legendary diva and definitely deserves to be higher up on the list, but I gotta rank them somehow. And for me, Cher is the one who has my least attention. I did get to see her farewell tour when she literally farewelled for like three years in a row. So I do love her and do appreciate her, but for me, Cher has gotta come in at number five on the Pop Divas Ranked. Next up, it's time to rank these fashion queens. Ooh, it's about to get shady. I can feel it already. We've got Miss Violet. We've got Naomi Smalls. We've got Miss Fame. We've got Got Mick. And of course, Lux Noir London. Now, I would love to be shady, but I think when any of us think of fashion queens, it's definitely Violet Chachki and Miss Fame. So coming in at number one is Violet Chachki and number two, Miss Fame. I think that their fashion is just otherworldly. They always take you to such a beautiful, experimental, high couture place. And that's why I definitely love these queens. But I have to put Violet as number one because I think she is the most notable fashion queen. Coming in at number three is Miss Naomi Smalls. Serving legs for days, she is truly the drag supermodel of the world. The mug, perfection, the body, insane, the diet, I don't even wanna know. Coming in at number four is the incredible Got Mick. Serving you ooky spooky white face realness with a touch of leather and latex, she's always got a punk look that will make you go wow. 
And coming in at number five is Lux Noir London. Now, I think this queen is truly a fashion icon, but she is of the later season, so I feel like that's why she falls later on my list. But truly, all these queens really know how to bring it down the runway. Okay, now y'all really want me to rank desserts? Have you seen the doll? She's blown up like a marshmallow, okay? We love to eat sweets 24-7. So I already know whatever rank I give these desserts is not true because they all have a number one spot in my stomach. So for spot number one, I'm going to have to put ice cream. I just love it. I love how creamy it is. I love all the different flavors, particularly when it comes in a cone and you get a little crunch with the softness of the ice cream. Mwah, it's just perfection. Coming in at number two are cookies. Every year for my birthday, I always have a cookie cake. I've just grown up loving it. Give me a Mrs. Fields with the icing on top and a little chocolate chip, and I am truly in a happy place. Coming up at number three is brownies. You know I love my brownies with a little bit of something extra, maybe a medicinal flair, but I love chocolate. I love the flaky crust. Ah, I could go on and on about brownies. Coming in at number four is macaroons. I mean, the texture, the creaminess inside, the flakiness of the cookie, the Frenchness of it all. Wee oui, wee. Oui. And coming in at number five is cake. I do love cake, but ultimately sometimes it can be very dry, you know, kind of like your vagina. So I'm gonna have to put it on spot number five with cake. And for my last category of ranked, I have these world tour stops. And as an international diva, I can accurately rank these. So first up, we've got London, then we've got Sydney, Australia, then we've got Rio, Brazil, then we've got New York, New York, and last and certainly not least, we have Singapore. So for my number one spot, it's really easy for me, due to the men and the gorgeous uncut nature of them, let's give it out to Rio at spot number one. Honey, I got to see this Jesus in person, and let me tell you, I felt the spirit. Coming in at number two, we have New York, New York. I'm sorry, I love the world, but there's no place like home, and this American city is truly iconic. It brings us some of the best artists around the world, and of course, the home of Broadway. So definitely the Big Apple, spot number two. Coming in at number three, we have Singapore. Not only is it so clean and so rich, but the food is right up my alley. Spicy, elevated, and overall gorgeous. Love, love, love Singapore. Coming in at number four is Sydney, Australia. Now I love this place because of the men, yet again, they're tall, they're handsome, they've got the accent, but I also really love it because I have dear friends that I've known forever that live in Sydney. So every time I go there, it's sort of like a little reunion and I just feel that outback fantasy. Coming in at number five, and I'd like to say I have good things to say, but I really don't, it's London. I got to study abroad there, studying at the London Contemporary School of Dance, and it rained and snowed for the very first time in my life ever, and I just broke out into tears, and I feel like that memory has just tainted the way I feel about London. I mean, first off, who wants to eat beans and tomatoes for breakfast? I mean, girl, no. It's a no. Their Indian food is a yes, but their British food and the mincemeat pies, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to pass and put London at number five. Today on this lovely ranked journey, I learned that I have a strong opinion and I'm not afraid to place people in their positions. Who run the world? Girls. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure you like and subscribe to the PEG YouTube channel. And until next time, stay sickening. Oh, crrr. Now, girl, why didn't y'all get me ranking cheese? Y'all know I love cheese. Cheese is a choice, and I always choose yes. Oh, poor me, we couldn't have ranked snacks. You know your girl has always got the munchies. Girl, why did we not rank choreographers? I mean, dance movies, I get it. More people would know that, but I thought y'all were trying to elevate this channel or something. Let's get some Bob Fosse up in here. Let's get some, you know, Pina Bausch.